Good morning, observers. Today we're going to hit interesting science on stellar super flaring, an interesting connection between economics and sunspots, and an incredible discovery about the moon. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Massive coronal hole dominates the Earth-facing heliographic longitudes, brightness and snake-like plasma filaments incoming behind them. We don't have much in the way of space weather activity, but the potential for it is rising quickly. First, we have a growing sunspot situation. After two days ago, we had a nearly blank half of the sun. We now see the new groups have taken over the incoming limb. Magnetic complexity is minor to modest right now, but it is developing. Significant motion and morphing in the central region of the sunspot group. Eyes there if we're going to get a flare today. But it may not be a flare. The plasma filaments are numerous and, all of a sudden, we've got some pretty solid size. Biggest ones are turning in on the south there. Thin, dark ropes of plasma in the corona. Then, of course, we know that a non-shockwave-based solar wind enhancement due to this coronal hole is due at Earth either tomorrow or Saturday. Minor geomagnetic activity is expected, should get at least one auroral outbreak during the impact. We're moving on, but sticking with stellar activity. While the sun can and does super flare, it's nothing compared to some of the super flares we see on other stars. Depending on which slice of energetic release you're focused on here, this was somewhere between an X10,000 and X10 million super flare. Anything in that range is going to end life on Earth if it happened on the sun. Luckily, G-type stars don't tend to boom that big. Up next, we're looking at the stamping proof of a previously suggested concept, employment now fully and forcefully demonstrated to be tied to solar activity. Higher solar activity means lower unemployment, so sunspot maximum is good for jobs, sunspot minimum bad for that market. And lastly, on the article front today, I almost fell out of my seat when I read this one, they now think the moon may be geologically active. First, it was Mars, a dead planet, waking back up, and now the moon may still be churning inside. Folks, the geological awakening or slumber as a rapid change in the solar system starting to make big waves on multiple spheres. Don't forget, this is the last Suspicious Observer's gear. With the name change to Space Weather News, we decided on one final run today and tomorrow. Last chance at the link below. Smart move, all of you grabbing multiple shirts, by the way. You can also find them at the Observer Ranch store at observerranch.com, where you can also check out our events page and book a time to come see us in person. Lots of great events to come see the rest of the year. It all starts at observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.